it's a pleasure to work with you here on uh, Here We Are Monday. I believe it's 26. Yes, it is. 26. All day. All day. Or it's been all day. Yes. Anyway, I hope you're well and uh, very nice to uh, see you. Thank you very much for joining. And uh, let's start off the show by doing a little bit of this. just gone there and uh, how's the vibe been with you guys have you been happy have you been uh, what else is going on there doing different things yes yes it is and uh, Susanna a very very good evening to you as you can see this is your photo you'll see it background here live uh, this is all from Egypt yes brilliant uh, hope you are great she says yes I certainly am an absolute pleasure to see you and uh, Deanne's here too. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, let's give you a round of applause. <laughs> uh, wow, I know. I know the pick. Yes, it's absolutely lovely. And these these are two dogs which, uh, which I believe, believe it or not, are stray dogs on the beach of Egypt. And uh, so, yes, like any place in the world, we have our little doggies around. I just sort of put these two in. They seem to be enjoying the sunset in Egypt. And uh, yes, there we go. Good. Yep. Loving the dogs, says Deanne. And uh, yeah, they are very, very nice indeed. And uh, what a lovely, lovely view. And uh, yes, it, it must be an absolute beautiful place to be down there, Susanna, and uh, to be seeing all this. Yeah, but we're quite jealous, aren't we? We're quite jealous, quite jealous of such beautiful scenery. And uh, yes, OK. So um, as we go through to the show today, what's going to happen? Well, first of all, interesting facts interesting facts historical interesting facts that happened on this day uh, plus we got the astrology plus we got oh I hope you like the meditation today and then of course it's your mini readings your mini readings as we go through the evening so without further ado let's go and see let's go and see what's gone on out there what's, what's been going on out there in history I'm sure you guys would uh, love to know what happened in this day uh, in history well we want to go back, all the way back to 1616. Do you remember then? It's just a few months down the road, just a couple of years here and there. I know you remember those days, those old days. Yes, I know, not so long back. Anyway, um, but the Romans, the Romans completely upset Galileo. They did, they did. We need to give uh, Galileo a little bit of love. Go on, cheer up Galileo, cheer up now. And uh, the reason being is because in 1616, the Roman Inquisition Inquisition uh, delivered an injunction demanding he abandon his belief uh, of heliocentrism. You try and say that after a, 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 a few tipples. Heliocentrism, which states the Earth and planets revolve around the sun. I mean, did the Romans have no idea? Come on, guys, come on. Yes, but that that's what happened then. Yeah, so... Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Good old, good old Galileo. Without that, we're still thinking that uh, we only go to the edge over there and we fall off the earth. Otherwise, we'd still be thinking that, wouldn't we? Yes, flat earth theory. There's still a lot of that out there, isn't there? And uh, this day in 1732 was the first American Catholic church service, which took place in Philadelphia. See? See? Amazing things happen. Amazing things happen. And uh, in this day in 1497, well, getting a bit closer in history, uh, the first English pound note. There you go, the first English pound note. Yeah, I can see your lovely broadcast there coming through, guys. Lovely, lovely to see you. And, uh, right, yes, and Joe Carter comes in, it comes in. So does Alex. Lovely to see you, Alex. And uh, this day, this day in 1863, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln signs the National Currency Act and establishes Establish it, you've noticed, guys, especially you, you Americans out there. I know a few of you there out there at the moment. Uh, he established the first single national currency, US currency. So there you go. That's where you guys started off your dollar. And uh, thanks to Abraham Lincoln. But bless you, bless you, Abraham Lincoln. Let's give you a round of applause. Yes. <laughs> and this day in 1970s, 
1970, 1970, the Beatles released their wonderful track, Hey Jude. Hey Jude, that, that, that was lovely. And uh, yeah, and Claire's coming through as well. Thank you very much, Claire. And uh, everyone else is sending their messages. And also, you'll like this one, guys. You'll like this one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? It's uh, this day in 1983, Thriller by Michael Jackson goes to number one and uh, stays there, I think, for God knows how many weeks. But it, it was a long time. Maybe someone out there knows how, how many weeks that was. But it was, it was quite a while. And uh, right, yeah, there we go. Right, uh, Golden Yellow comes in, says, Hi, Phil. Very nice to see you, Golden Yellow. And I hope you had a lovely weekend. And, uh, and Emma Mood says, uh, A very good evening, too. A very good evening to you. And uh, everyone else who's joined me this, uh, 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 this evening. So a very, very nice, warm welcome to you all. And uh, yeah, I think you guys need a cup of coffee. Just help yourself. Just put it down the bottom of your cup. There you go. Um, no, Claire, it's not wine. It's not wine. It's coffee. Sorry. Sorry about that. Emma, Emma, what were you thinking? It's just coffee. Alex, I, I know what you wanted to drink, but no, it's just a coffee. It's just coffee. What you like, what you like. Anyway, and uh, so what the events going out there out there this week? Well, hopefully, guys, maybe you've seen some nice time with friendships, uh, nice things going on around you, just uh, enjoying, enjoying nice times. Even some of you may even started off, um, maybe even new relationships. Oh, wow. 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 Or maybe you met someone new, someone you haven't spoken to for ages and ages and ages. They suddenly come back on the scene. Yeah? Do you, have you found that, guys? Woohoo! Yeah, maybe you have. Well, the reason being, and we're going to do the astrology now, and I'll show you all about this and why this is going on at the moment. Okay, so here's the astrology chart at current times. And uh, what I want you to look at is uh, Venus and Mars just there. You just see a 12 degrees and 10 degrees. And... Uh, uh, those two are very much together in the sign of Aquarius, uh, which is a brilliant time, especially for friendships, as we see here that uh, Aquarius is a very, very friendly sign. It's all about friendships with Aquarius. And uh, yes, if those of you who are Aquarian or know Aquarians, they've got a, probably a bigger telephone book or directory uh, of uh, friendships than probably anyone else, anyone else, or where Aquarius is in your chart, which show where friendships are. Ooh, you want to know more about that? You just got to let me know. And uh, also, also here, what's also going on? We also need to go and have a little look, a little look further up the chart, where we've got Mercury and the Sun almost about to conjunct. Uh, Mercury is at six degrees. It's rapidly joining up with the Sun, and it's also going to line up with Saturn. Wow, what's going on here? This is a time, guys, because it's going to form what we call a sex style. And a sex style is a lovely aspect, and uh, it's, uh, oh, sorry, I can't do that there. I can't do it on this one. I just see some other people coming in. But a sex style is a very harmonious angle. If we work uh, towards something, work towards a beginning of something, a, a new start, a new phase, these planets together are fantastic, fantastic for new beginnings. New beginnings are new site here. What it does say, though, with Saturn is, guys, guys, um, it's also time here not to be hard on yourselves. It's a time here to start loving yourself, being kind to yourself. You know that bit where we sometimes have a go, damn, I should have done this, and why did I do that, and all those sorts of feelings? Let them go. Let them go, because this week's aspects are very much about building up self-esteem, building up a confidence, wanting to expand things, wanting to grow, wanting to get to a higher knowledge, a higher spiritual belief here. And uh, that's very much about these energies this week. So it's about friendship and it's about maybe making new beginnings and maybe there's a start of a new friendship, a new relationship, but something is probably going to be very, very nice around you and you'll probably thoroughly enjoy this time if you look in those areas. And uh, very much about the meditation that's coming up shortly. Uh, I'll be telling you about that and what's uh, um, the influence of this is, is, is being nice to yourself. It's about the tranquility. It's about enjoying a niceness, a niceness with uh, those around us. So um, hopefully you'll see, guys, this is quite a nice time. And even with a moon down in Libra, down there, you just see the yellow moon at two degrees of Libra. 
Libra is very much about partnerships and very much about relationships. So just see what comes up here. And uh, I think you'll find this to be an extremely enjoyable time. So, okay, without further ado, let's come back to uh, let's come back to the main screen here and just say hello, Santa. Lovely to see you. There she is there. And uh, Lisa also says a big hello as well. And uh, everyone else there, yes, I can see all your requests for, for readings there coming up. But uh, yeah, we'll be coming back to those in a, in a very short space of time. Now, um, just to go along with the theme of uh, tranquility, just to go along with the theme of being enjoying niceness and uh, pleasure, just having a nice open scene like this. And isn't it great when you declutter, de declutter up here and just embrace um, more clarity within ourselves here and being nice to ourselves slow it down a little bit and uh, enjoy this area because this is what it's all about so without further ado let's go and have a little bit of this and I'll be back to you very shortly hi and welcome to this week's power and positivity on the Monday psychic show I'm Phil Griggs and please don't listen to this session if you're operating any kind of machinery that requires your full focused attention. Instead, just find a nice relaxing place where you can just relax. And this session is all about tranquility and tranquility as we can embrace this week to enhance the energies. Just before we start though, I'd just like you to notice there you could just take a nice, big, deep, relaxing breath and just allow the air to flow in and to just gently flow out. That's right, just nice, gently flowing. And as you're embracing that nice energy and just feeling that relaxing feeling going through you, just notice this time there is just for you. The moment in time, however long a moment is, just to be in a place where you can relax, unwind, and just be in your own state, your own feelings, your own emotions. Maybe they're just focusing as though we could see ourselves on a beautiful sunny day. That's right, it's nice and warm and you can feel the temperature of the sunshine upon your skin. And just notice there too with those nice feelings, the way they just flow around you and the nice scenery. That's right, perhaps if you're sitting on a beach, you can just feel the sand between your fingers. Or if you're sitting in the hillside and you're just looking up at the beautiful sky, perhaps just feeling the grasses between your toes and in your fingers. That's right, and just notice all the beautiful scenery all around you. How beautiful it looks, how beautiful it is. And as you look up at the sky, you can see the deep blue sky with the odd white cloud. And just observe there the cloud as it just gently, gently moves along the skyline. Almost like it's going from left to right, perhaps. And as it does so, as a beautiful white cloud, you can see the size of it perhaps change and its shape change. Perhaps just noticing there how far this cloud can go before it just breaks down and just vaporizes into the air but right now it's just floating by just like your mind at this moment in time is just in this floating suspension of peace and tranquility that's good just seeing this there as your mind is just focusing on this cloud i just like you to know that weekly energies around you this week are encouraging us to find tranquility, to experience a week of peace. Obviously we have stressful situations somewhere, but when we look for peace, peace in our own mind and hearts, and just slow down perhaps, we can embrace this wonderful feeling, perhaps find some answers or a solution to things that are going on around us. Even the relationships we have, in every relationship we experience, there's the element of friendship in it. And Venus and Mars in Aquarius at this present time, very close to one another, are just inviting us 
to seek the friendship within our relationships. And sometimes just to take time out just for that, just to have gratitude for the friendships you have around you, how well lovely they make you feel. Also too, the recent full moon in Virgo is a very healing moon. Once again, asks us to just slow down a little bit. So this week, take time out for you. Just imagine the cloud going by on a sunny day and just being at peace, finding that peacefulness within you. And you'll find your week will go very, very well. And I wish you a pleasant time. And now, back to you, Phil, on the show. Oh dear, I enjoyed doing that one because it is about this energy of friendship, niceness, calmness, and uh, self-love, and just really feeling it within you. In fact, one of the ways to actually go and do this, guys, just to show you a little trick, as one would call it, perhaps, it's, uh, uh, there's another word for it other than trick, is to just grab two fingers like this. Okay, grab two fingers like this. And where your heart is, just tap on your heart, and just slow down the breathing as you do it. Slow it down, and as you tap on it, it's almost like you're doing a Morse code. So you're not going uh, tap, tap, tap. You're going to tap, 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 but nice and slowly. And what this does, this sends and it awakens the heart chakra. It awakens the heart center, and it sends a vibration up to your mind, and your mind opens to it, and just feels the love of calmness, the love of the heart. So get into the heart this week, get into, into yourself and feel this calmness and enjoy the friendships around you. Be around the people who mean the most to you and uh, share that friendship. Send people messages you haven't spoken to for a long time and just, hey, I wonder how they are. We often wonder, how are they? But uh, we don't message them. So this is a time just to go and do this, to be in that peace and uh, really enjoy this particular time. All right. Brilliant. Hope that helps there. Right. In the meantime, though, yes, I'm not going to speed it up too much. But in the meantime, though, uh, if you know a little bit about the tarot, but you really want to learn more, then this course is just for you. Uh, recently completed a uh, course with, uh, with a fantastic team of uh, people who want to learn the tarot. And now they want to go on to learn tarot too, which is more in-depth readings, learning more about the tarot cards and the spreads. So this may be for you. If you do so, you do like it, just get in touch. It'd be great to hear from you and great to help you to uh, develop more experience with this. Um, one thing is about this, as much as you'll be working on each other and doing different spreads, I'll also be inviting in special guests. One of them is actually on the show tonight. She knows who she is. Anyway, so I'm inviting in special guests and they'll practice on, uh, so that this group, you get the practice on them. And... Uh, uh, meeting someone you don't know so this is this is very much about this so uh, if you're interested in doing this just let me know it'd be a pleasure to welcome you in and uh, yes okay so if you know a little bit about the tarot cards just a little bit but you want to learn how to do more than this course as I say is just for you yes okay oops I'll get rid of that sorry I thought you got to go then no you weren't okay so um, I wonder what there is uh, to do now guys it's your mini readings and also just to say here as well Susanna Susanna who's in Egypt sent her this picture and it's absolute I love the tranquility of this it's very much about the theme of the week it's openness it's tranquility it's the calm seas and, and two dogs there just watching the sunset it's just beautiful so thank you very much Susanna and if any of you others out there have got some nice photographs uh, whether it's the sea whether it's the forest uh, whether it's the hilltops or just nice scenery then uh, please send them in I'll be pleased uh, to put them on the show background here just to just to show my appreciation to you guys watching the show okay on with that let's go and see who's first on the list here and it's Gabby with an unusual one but uh, okay let's try it let's try it she says uh, Liam and Phil I want to ask you something I said so I say okay what is it you want to ask was there a black magic spell bun done by a woman, a black, uh, a black magic spell work done by a woman who wants 
uh, wants him as a partner, which is your, your current partner, wants him as a partner uh, to me and my, my love interest. And I saw further down there, you said the colour pink. Well, the colour pink, I could tell you first of all, is very protective around you. Very protective indeed. And my focus is going out every now and then, so hopefully you can see, see me still. Uh, yes, and let's go have a look here. In fact, through the crystal, as I go through this here, the, the colour aura which I see around you is white is white and white is about protection and white is about purity and white is also about new beginnings around you. Uh, this is a very interesting time here and I've actually got uh, a gentleman who wants to come through for you uh, straight away here and he's, he's literally his words here, he says here he was a fast talking man as, a, as I'm hearing him and he says to me here he used to, uh, he would have no nonsense, in fact his hair colour is as dark as yours. And uh, his, his, his energy around him here to say to you, if people want you, let them come and chase you. Uh, this guy here, I have a look through the cards of this, whether you think that there's some there's spell put on this guy. Uh, just be careful, guys, uh, what thoughts are. Thoughts are things, and thoughts can have, have experiences here. But let's have, have a little look here and just see what comes up. Um, one thing I'm picking up from this guy, though, he says to me here, your partner is, a, is in general, though, would you understand here, he, he often gets to be a very confused man, very confused man by what he wants. It's not just about uh, immediate love around you and things like this. It's also more about um, uh, himself, himself. It's not just you. He's just a very confused man. And I'd like to choose the middle path of this to see what the cards say. Um, uh, this is, uh, no, it's interesting here. Um, I do get the feeling here that this is a relationship which was going to sort of move on a little bit anyway. Um, but what's interesting here by the cards, and I love this, love this energy here, because this is what this guy is telling me, is, uh, Gabby, I really need to say here that any relationships going to come up in front for you, other than this guy, you've got the lovers. You won't be long, my dear, and you'll be involved in a, in a different relationship. And he was also saying to me here, that uh, this guy is exceptionally good around the house, around houses. Uh, for instance, being a builder, being a, a plumber, being an electrician, or someone who is a DIY enthusiast. And I see a lot to do with houses, a lot to do with uh, good things, good things come up in front for you. So I think that's going to resolve things a little bit. But uh, where this guy is concerned, very confused guy, and he's got a lot going on up here at the moment, uh, probably overload. And uh, But uh, hopefully all things work out for you. But I'm sure they will do, Gabby. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for coming in. Anyway, let's give you a little. Let's give you a little bike horn. Yes. And uh, right. So next is Joe Gardner. She comes in and she wants to say here. Hi, Phil. Hope you are well. I have a general reading, please, and a color gold. Love the color gold in a reading here because uh, gold often means uh, that it's not the highest of colors. It is in, in one sense, depending which sort of situation it's in. But especially when it comes to a healing of some kind, then. Uh, Gold is exceptionally strong. Um, but uh, actually, when I say yours, yours is white and yellow. White and yellow. And white and yellow is interesting here because uh, this would this would have the essay here about having some clarity yourself. And a lovely lady who wants to come through as well, having clarity yourself. And, uh, and also here, finding that uh, I get a feeling new people are going to start to come into your world. New people are going to come into your circle. It's not about hanging around with the, uh, with the old people or the people who have been in your life. It's very much about new people coming in your life, probably mixing with people you already know. And uh, I get a feeling it's quite a friendly week. And also, the white part of your aura is very much about this week's energy. You slow down. Slow down. I think you'll find it would be a far better time if you were just to slow it down. Slow it down and enjoy. Listen a bit. Feel. Feel. Find the calmness. Just tap on your heart. Just tap on that heart chakra there and just notice yourself being at peace. That's going to be the way for you. In fact, here, as I look at your cards as well, how the week's going to go for you, let's have a little look. Your cards are very nice. I get a feeling your cards are going to be very good, actually. I get a feeling by this, and uh, yes, in fact, they are. Uh, it's all about career. It's going to be all about happiness for you. Yep, I was dead right. You've got the Nine of Cups, which is, is your luck card, and a luck card is for you. It's about you. It's not necessarily about other people coming to life or anything like this. You've got the Ace of Swords. There's probably, 
either a new job, in fact, I get a feeling of a new job or a new start to a vacation here, and more money. I had a feeling your cards are going to be good, and they are. And uh, so gold is probably one of the reasons why you chose that color there, because it's a very rich energy, very strong. And uh, enjoy it. Enjoy it, my dear. I think you have a whale of a time. Let's give you this as well. <laughs> And uh, where else are we going now? We're now going down to astrology happenings with Shornasia. Shornasia. I do get this right, I think. Yeah. Uh, nice picture. Would love a mini reading. Uh, what do my guys want to tell me? Feeling a bit yellow today, but I love the colour purple. Oh, I love the colour purple too. It's one of my favourite colours. And uh, in fact, why have one favourite colour? Even you could have a few. Yes, that's what I, I think out there. Good. Let's have a little look. As I look through the crystal here, um, what do the spirit guides want to say to you? Well, actually, you've got uh, one, two. There, there's three spirits who are working around you at the moment. Three spirits. And this is like, this is like, a, this is like a week of, before you move forwards, tidy up the, the, the present and tidy up the past before you move forwards. Getting this done is going to make you feel clearer up here and more in harmony in your heart, and I feel then you'll start to be able to work better. But uh, there's going to be an offer that comes up to you with the way work is concerned, probably around April. Uh, it'll be very good for you, very, very good. But first of all, they'll clear the clutter, clear the stuff you don't need around you anymore here. And I, these three spirits here are very much about working the background with you, uh, helping to uh, sweep things up consciously and emotionally for you to feel clearer in yourself, and that way you'll have you'll have you'll be ready for a new start. Which is, uh, um, yeah, it's like you're taking on a role of some kind with your work, with your work here, which I think would do you a world of good. Yeah, let's, let's go for it. I think it'd be great news, great news. In fact, I think here we need to have a little bit of this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, for sure, these here. Okay, let's have a look at the cards here and see what they say, what they want to guide us towards, where your life is going at the moment. Let's go for the right on this. And uh, what the spirits come through the cards and say, yes, don't get boxed and don't get pulled down regarding the past for you. These cards are very much about you sorting this out. may even be feeling here that you're down in the dumps, but it's only because of yesterday's news. It's not to do with what's come up in front for you. And if you just find the calmness this week and find the tranquility within yourself, just say, okay, things happen, I move on. And then things start to happen. Then things start to work themselves in. Uh, regarding your style of work, regarding astrology, your style of work, you may well find you've got a new um, doorway that's going to open for you or new way of working. For instance, it's not just traditional astrology. It may be, say, uh, draconic or something like this. But whatever it is, I th think you're going to start something new. And uh, that will get people interested completely. So, fantastic. Fantastic. Let's give you a little... <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, oh, Susanna. Now, Susanna is a lady here who sent, sent the picture in. I'm just uh, buzzing your name every about 30 times during this show here, Susanna, just to say thank you, because it's a lovely picture. It really is. I mean, guys, what do you think of this picture? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. It's wow. wow. Yeah, brilliant. Right, okay. So, uh, right, colour violet, colour violet. Okay. Uh, orange is in your colour. Orange is, uh, although you've gone to colour violet, I've got to mix uh, violet with your choice, plus the colour orange, which I pick up through my aura. And uh, this makes this a very busy week. And also, you're like this, loads of laughter. I see loads of laughter coming up for you. So I think you're going to have a very, very special time, a very harmonious time, enjoying yourself, being gregarious, and really getting on with it. And I think here you will um, be very, very pleased yourself. Very pleased indeed. Okay. And uh, yes. So, uh, and I feel that's where as well here, I think people can uh, um, show you another side to themselves, which is uh, a nicer side, uh, or, or perhaps people coming into your life will be very, very friendly, but it, it's, it's a nice week for you, I feel. In fact, as I go for your cards here, let's, let's, let's uh, pick up on this. Right. Um, right, 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 let's go, let's go, right. let's go for the right here, let's go for the right, because it's the right way to go, isn't it? 
Yeah. Right, your cards here are showing. Um, you've got choices to make that you're delaying on. You're thinking of changing this or changing that, but you're delaying things. And uh, you've got to follow your instincts. You really, you're unsettled in your ways here, but you've got to follow instincts around you. And maybe you find yourself this week opening more to people who can help you. Um, yes, otherwise here, it feels like uh, you've got a situation that is not as bad as it seems. It's, uh, it may be overloaded by inner worry, thinking, well, what do people think of me? What, what are people saying? What are they doing? And that's your own thoughts. It's not what people are thinking. They're doing, they're going, Suzanne, why are you thinking like this? Why are you feeling like this? This is about being, um, finding calmness and finding, find, uh, absolutely, rather than going by assumptions, finding out what things really are. And I think that's going to help you a lot. Watch your health a little bit. Just uh, sometimes you need, you need to take time out for you. Good. All right, here. Let's go down. Let's go down here. Let's go down to the next one here, which is Emma Moon. She comes in and uh, she says here, she says, um, good evening, brother. Good evening, sister. Uh, you're, ho hope you're fruitful. That's a nice word to say. Are you being fruitful? Right. Okay. Red, please. Am I on the right life path? Grateful, thank you. I'm on the right life path. Okay, uh, red, 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 red. I'm on the right life path. Uh, I'm being told here a little bit just to say to you, um, would you have understood, please, a, a very, very close lady to you, very close lady. She didn't pass away at an old age, but she's incredibly close to you. Um, she was youngish, and she she wants to come through, and her energy. Uh, in fact, there's two, oh, there's two ladies here now. One's very old. One may have uh, a very old traditional name very old, and uh, may well have a V in it, you know, like Victoria or Vera or something like this here. Very old, a very older type name. But mind you, Victoria's come back into fashion now, isn't it? Um, and uh, what I see here as I go through the crystal, um, am I on the right life path? I think here it's not are you on the right life path, Um the system that I, or the energy which I pick up for you is very much about a week where you are likely to um, discover you're on the right life path. <laughs> you're gonna discover it. They get, oh, I'm doing the right thing after all. Yeah, 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 you're doing the right thing after all. So I think in that respect here, I think uh, you'll find things going quite well. Uh, I also pick up here too, as I look through the crystal, and uh, I love my little crystal here, just in case you think I'm looking down at my toes all the time getting insight from my toenails. No, I'm not, this is a crystal here. Um, I also pick up here, would you understand as well about crystal healing? Crystal healing, I'm picking up very much about crystal healing, you being the healer. So your life path embraces you doing healing to other people. And, uh, and it's very much about here, wiping away, whoa, wiping away the, uh, the older energies around you, especially where you felt things were going a little bit um, uh, toxic in some ways for yourself, for yourself here. Uh, maybe changing diets and uh, leading a healthier lifestyle. I see a lot of these things coming in, and I think you'll be very happy to experience this and feel, actually, I'm feeling better. Uh, there's a gentleman here as well who loved his shed. He just tells me here, I loved my shed. He loved my shed, and he says here, what you'll need in your life is loads of laughter. Be around situations, watch comedy films, um, be around people who make you laugh and enjoy laughter. That's his big thing to you, he says here. He says, stop digging holes for yourself. Stop digging holes. There, it's all up here. It's all up here, he says here. That's his, that's his message to you. I think that's a cracking guy is coming through here. And uh, yeah, he's, uh, he, he's very much connected with you. He says he, 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 he wasn't happy with his hair. He says he lost a lot of it when he was younger. Um, yes, you're racing around like a bull in the china shop. Slow it down. And uh, you think everything's going wrong and you feel here emotionally life isn't balanced and what am I doing, where am I going? Slow it right down. You'll soon realise you're on the right life path. You're doing everything right. You just need it to be a little bit more at peace in yourself. And then, Emma, you're fine. Absolutely fine. Um, yes, so it's about <laughs> rather digging holes, put flowers in it. <laughs> put flowers in it and grow them. Yes, that's probably a good idea to do. Yes, harmonise life that way. So, uh, yeah, Emma, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for that there. And uh, let's give let's give you a woohoo. Yes, I think you need one of those. Yes, right. Okay. Um, let's go and have a look here. Where else are we go here? 
in fact, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's interesting talking to a lot of people that have, through the last three months, one of the core emotions people have felt going through the last, uh, well, actually, you say, yeah, it's about three months, even though we, did, we look at the start of the year, is a lot of people have felt very anxious or angry about things, and anxious, anxiety or anger. And these current energies are very much about finding the peace within yourself. Don't worry what's going on out there. Don't worry about what everybody else is up to. Um, stop measuring yourself against others. And it's very much about experiencing inner peace and calmness. And then life will go well. Life will go very well here. Good, good, good. All righty, let's go and have a little look down here where we are next. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Ah, Alexander Kazitsu, who's in America. Yo, in America, yo. In fact, uh, yeah, I haven't got anything about America, but uh, I tell you what, it's a little bit of this. This is America. This is the American charge, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, yeah that, that'll do. That'll do. Um, love to see you. Any insight on how this week will go? Look, very nice little question there. Color red. Color red. Uh, let's have a look here. Right. It's amazing how many of you've gone for the color red already, which is because Mars and the, Mars and Venus are together in Aquarius. Very, very friendly energies, very nice energies here. Let's have a little look about uh, where these energies are. Right, any insights I need to give you this week to help you out this week here? Right, okay. Um, you've got to have opportunities where um, this is, you'll like this, or maybe you won't like this, is you could talk yourself into something, which is good, but don't carry on talking because then you end up talking yourself out of a situation which could be going quite well. You could find here where this week is concerned that uh, just go, mm, yes, that's nice. That's nice. I'll accept this. I'll accept that. Don't talk too much. <laughs> you're thinking, what have I got to do? Just stay silent all the time. No, I think where this week is concerned, you're probably going to have quite an enjoyable week if you just go with the flow of pattern of things. Just go, yes, I like this. I like that. You don't need to explain anything else. Otherwise, people are going, oh, we're not so sure this is right. or not so sure that's right. Just go with the flow. And I think you'll find that easier there. And also here, I think it's about midweek towards the end of the week, a little bit of diversion somewhere. They're like, I'll just steer clear of that one. Don't need to get involved in that dispute or that discussion. You know you just need to steer away from it. And uh, I think you'll end up being very happy. And one of your children is going to be doing something which involves entertainment and i see lots of laughter and i see uh i think it's your son i think it's your son here because i get more of a male energy than a female and uh, i pick up here humor and i pick up entertainment and i pick up a bit of a comedian coming on there somewhere so i think that that's going to go very very well and uh if i see, yeah i see the color red there but i think as i look through the crystal <coughs> it's gonna be interesting it's yellow uh, and yellow is very much about communication with people, but knowing how to communicate or when to stop communicating. Yes, right. Look at the cards here. Let's go and split them into three piles and let's see what's coming up. Let's go for the middle pile on this and see what comes up here. Right, okay. Um, changing circumstances around you, my dear. News is going to travel quickly on that part. And uh, wow, money coming in big time. Big time here. Don't talk yourself out of things. Don't put. Don't get people think. Don't get get people thinking twice. Going, oh, perhaps you got that wrong. Just say the bits and say yes. Just do the yes bits. Yes, because otherwise you'll talk yourself out of things. Oh my goodness. Just say yes. Say yes. Practice that. Can I hear you? Say yes. That's right. Say yes. See, see, you did it. Well done. Well done. And I'm sure then you'll do well. But uh, yeah, I am hearing things which are, um, will go well for you. And um, there's something about a property that comes up very soon for you. Very, very soon. And I think uh, that will be exciting too. And uh, you're sometimes thinking, am I doing the right thing? I feel like I'm being pushed from behind me. Yep, you probably are. And uh, that's the spirits doing that. But it's also your, uh, the way life is roller coasting you a little bit, like a wave breaking. You're the surfer. Suddenly you're skidding along, going very quickly. But uh, you'll enjoy it. It'd be nice. But <laughs> oh my God, I think you'll just. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. I think you'll, you'll find that says good, pretty good there. Right. Okay. Uh, golden Yellow comes in. Hello, Golden Yellow. Very nice to see you. 
I can see you uh, all of you here guys yes don't worry I get round to all of you it'd be lovely to see you and uh, uh, God, can I have, get a reading blue color uh, thank you yes 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 go yellow let's have a little look here right um, you may be I get I get a symbol I get symbols here for the spirit world uh, saying to be here about a belt tightening this is one of two things it's either you know, you're losing weight which great if you are and that's what you want to do uh, it's also about being a bit of being a little bit more whoa just being a little bit more careful about uh, what you're putting out there and also maybe how much you're spending perhaps here maybe you just need to bring energies in just a little bit just to observe yourself there and see that energy maybe turning around for the better and also here what else I get by this as well um, is I feel this week you've gone for the color blue um, I'm actually seeing here more of an indigo color indigo is a lovely lovely color so it's very much about being intuitive listening to yourself a little bit and uh, just being aware when you get that nudge saying am I doing too much am I get involved too much in things just hold it back a little bit and uh, I also pick up here too um, there's uh, uh, you're, you're not going to have such a complicated time as you thought you were going to have no, you, you think things are going to get complicated. You'll see complications going by you, but it's like you're not paying too much attention to it. Good. Good. Right. Let's have a look at the cards, see what they're saying here. Left, middle, or right. Let's go for the right on this, because again, it's the right way to go. Right. Uh, where are we going here? Okay. Right. Um, you'll be making up friendships here. This is lovely, typical of this energy very much about relationships whether you want to call it a friendship or even about new love interests here and uh, and about fairness fairness from people and i say fairness here because you're going to sing part of this week is like why is it always me why is it always me who does everything why is it yeah well because you've chosen to and uh, to be hard on that yes you've chosen to and also here i think it is, is also going to be a week where you're going to find um love home and uh, nice energies like that being very warm around you being very good and i think you'll enjoy it but uh, yes definitely knight of wands here is going to be chit chat chit chat loads of chit chat good things but realization news comes in which lets you know um almost like oh hang on a minute i see i see this and i see that and it's going to make you make your life a bit easier so good luck to you really good luck here and i think uh, that you'll do exceptionally well listen to that intuitive spiritual side be telling you exactly what you need to do um right okay and <coughs> excuse me claire meekins comes in she says here hello claire nice to see you happy birthday for god knows how many weeks it was ago and uh, you just saw the message there <laughs> yeah we're gonna say happy birthday to claire i think even though it's ages ago happy birthday yeah there you go happy birthday for ages ago even though it rests but there we go right uh, okay, may I have a mini reading bill? Color pink and general. Right, color pink and general here. Um, where do I want to go on this? Uh, there is, there is, there is, there is. Now, you understand one of your grandmothers who you didn't see very well or wasn't you weren't that particularly close to. There's very much this lady presence here coming through. And uh, she's saying to me here, she says, yeah, it's a little bit the energies that I picked up earlier on, the very start here about the energy this week. Don't be hard on you. Be nice on you here. Um, you're going to see here where BS is. You'll be very clear and going, yeah, I know what people are telling me, but it's a load of BS. And um, and I just get a feeling here that the buck will stop there. I get a feeling you'll just go, whoop, no thank you. Um, what's going to be starting to happen here, actually, is I feel you social avenue is going to open up for you um you're going to find here that a bit more courage comes out in you so you go for the color pink and pick up a bit more red in this bit more red in your aura it's almost like you're being encouraged invited uh being finding your life become more progressive and finding yourself in a oh i'm doing th more things what i thought i was going to do and it's the influence of people around you who are encouraging you and i think this will be great it really is a nice energy really brings in a nice vibration and I think it really ripple effects out and I think here uh, that uh, you'll attract quite a few more people here you will get criticism around you I can tell you this now but you'll realize you're getting criticism because it's all for the right reasons right reasons you're doing well 
that's all you need to know on it. You're doing very, very well. All right. Let's have a little look here. Let's have a little look at the cards and see where they're going for you. And uh, what this week at least has in offer for you. Right. Okay. Uh, left, middle and right. Let's see where we're going to. Let's go for the right on this. The nice things about these energies are, is transition and change. Death card comes up. It's uh, about moving on. Moving on. Uh, a gentleman comes into your life. Oh my goodness, yes, a gentleman comes into your life. You're going to get offered a job that you think, I don't know if I can do this. If I can do this, Claire, just get on with it. Just get on with it. We're very good at thinking we're not good at things until we try. And what it also represents here as well, you've got the devil too. You're thinking here, death card, devil, can it get any worse? It's not worse. It's not worse at all. Um, what this is more indicating around you here is, is you're working on yourself a great deal seeing things being clearer in yourself as soon as you understand it boom all that old energy goes and this is what it's all about for you so i feel this week very much is about transitioning into understanding just seeing okay i'm going to move away from old situations and go towards the sun just up there yeah see the sun go towards sun energy bright energy happy people uh, it'll make you feel great and i think here you'll have a well of a time so claire thank you very much let's give you uh, I think you need a cup of coffee after that. Put the money in the jar. Put the money in the jar. Thank you. <coughs> right. Uh, where else are we going to go here? We uh, also need to go to Santa. Yo, Santa comes from India. Uh, very nice to see you, which is halfway from Europe to Egypt. Next stop, India. Yes. So, uh, so Santa, if you've got any lovely photographs of India that you would like to send in, please do. It'd be lovely to put these international photographs up on the show. It'd be fantastic. Thank you. And, uh, right, can I have a general reading, please? Colour purple. You've gone for the colour purple. Um, one of the things I see here, one of the things I see around these colours is actually pink and purple. Pink and purple. Pink is very nice because this is about the abundance of love. This is about the abundance of joy. This is about the abundance of happy things coming into your world. And you really seeing, really seeing here, this is a nicer time. And uh, purple is also the color here, which is longevity in this. So I think you're going to find the good news that starts to embrace this week and where it takes you to is really going to make you feel happier. Really going to make you feel like your life is going somewhere. I'm also picking up cars. I've got a car, really nice car around you. <coughs> Maybe it's a particular gentleman who's just bought one or you just beat a particularly nice gentleman who's got a very nice car. You're going, oh, this is nice. And it also is, this is also symbolic as well because it's it's you moving into far better times. <coughs> I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll have a lovely time. Anyway, uh, Santa, so let's have, a, let's have a little look here where your cards are going to this week. Three piles of cards for you. I'm going to go for the left because you've left the past behind. Right. Let's go right here. Right. Okay. <clears throat> previously been through stress and anxiety. Previously been through all the times which have been difficult. Looking at your working life and where you're going and transitioning into new beginnings and new start, which is going to come up here. Your value is far higher than what you're worth. You know that. Keep going to seek what you know. Keep going. You know your value is, is worth more. And by this, what I mean here is, this is a little bit where I get this nice flashy car around you. It's the transiting to better times, happier times here. And uh, this is going to come up. But what you've got to do, first of all, is start not working with um, people on the same level. Look up more. Look up more. And you'll start to uh, transition your life into that area. And I think you'll be very, very happy. I think you have a great time. Wow. Good luck to you. In fact, let's give you a little bit. Um, Chelsea says, I would love a general reading. Okay. And uh, I think that means uh, the, the red by the heart there. I think that's what that means, but it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, Chelsea, let's have a little look here. What do I need to say to you? Um, right. Okay. Would you understand, Chelsea, if I said to you, fashion? Fashion. Would you understand to your thinking, do you know what? I'm going to change the way I look, change fashion, and start to upgrade myself a little bit, starting to thinking, actually, why should I uh, not 
I wouldn't say dress down so much here, but I feel you're going to present yourself differently. You're going to really cheer yourself up. You're going to make yourself look like, hey, I'm worth it in every way. And I really think you are. And I think that's going to be an embracement around you for positivity. Sometimes here for people to change around us, if I say the word change, is that's a good way of putting it, it starts with us first. So you change and other people go, hey, yes, so I'm going to change too. So mannerisms, the feeling of uh, hmm, feeling good about yourself, nice smells around you and uh, looking very nice. And uh, yes, and I think this is going to be a week to really bring yourself up here. I've got a lady here as well. Pearls, pearls. There's a very nice lady here who gives me pearls to you. These, I think, are pearls passed down to you. And uh, she says this to me too. Um, you never know what's behind the door, do you? Until you open it. This is what she says. Let's go for the middle. Let's go for the middle on this and see what comes across. Okay. Well, okay. Love, happiness, joy. The odd little tiff here and then, but it ends in happiness. At last. Way, way. Looks like a brilliant week. <laughs> Starts react differently. Wow, look at you, Chelsea. Wow, woohoo. Yes, I think we need, uh, I think we need one of these. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, we do. I think wow. Chelsea, you're going to lift your spirits completely. So uh, it's it's your style. It's a Chelsea style. Yeah. Great. Okay. Right. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Chelsea Deanne, she says here, I love Deanne's questions. I love them. It's the way you write them, my dear. They're just hilarious. Uh, may I ask for a work related mini? Now, is that because you want a small job? That's why it's mini. Or because it's a car called a mini? You want a work-related mini? Oh, well, okay, find a garage, go buy one. And uh, um, she's got the colour red, colour red here. If I look at this colour here and go for the colours here, there's, uh, yeah, 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 I get this here. Get this here. There's, um, in fact, I've said, ah, now I've seen that from behind you. You had a darkish green from behind you behind you here, which is very much about looking at uh, uh, maybe the way people have been working with you, if we look at work, because that's the area you're going for. And maybe for you here, I don't feel that everybody's uh, on the same hymn sheet as me, they're all thinking the same. And uh, and also what I pick up here too, I've got a, sh a bright shining star in front of you. Yes, look through a crystal, a bright shining star. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be too far away, A, before you go for what you want, and B, before you start to see just how good things are, because things are. So there's there's uh, definitely good, good, good news coming up ahead. And I think here as well, I've got something to do with shipping, ships, shipping, shipping, shipping lines. I see a big ship, uh, but I think it's a, it's a company or something you're working for, maybe related to, or maybe the job has shipping. You do the shipping of some kind here. Let's go for the right on this. Let's go for the right and have a little look. Right, yes, two job offers coming your way. Uh, you'll be thinking, mm, now which way do I go? You'll look at things very closely, but don't get too critical. Don't overthink things here. You may need to speak to people to say, what should I do here? Don't talk yourself out of things here. But in the end, though, the queen here says a very good woman's going to come into your world and offer you the job you want. And B, you'll think you're not skilled enough, as we all say here. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not good enough. Um, but actually, that's what they want. They don't want someone who knows exactly what they're doing because they do it their way. Um, what they want sometimes is someone who doesn't know all about the job, so they train them up their way. You get trained up their way rather than doing it your way. Yeah, I'm sure you understand what I mean there. But uh, So I feel here, interesting week around you, and I think here you're going to find some uh, find some wonderful opportunities coming your way. So brilliant. Love the energy for this, isn't it? Let's give you a... Let's give me a bike horn now. I think I think you need a bit of a hoot, a bit of a hoot. Yes. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Lisa, can I have uh, a reading here? Have a reader, please. Color blue. I've met a man, but what does the future look like with him? Oh, let's go and have a look. Uh, actually, I get the color blue with this. The color blue. In fact, you've gone for the color blue. Match, match. So that's interesting. You've gone for this here. The only thing I'd say by this here is, it's nice you met a new guy, just don't make it too serious. To get too serious, uh, don't get too involved too quickly. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying here, I'm not, you obviously you've got to do what you've got to do, but the message is coming across is uh, enjoy the fun, enjoy the laughter, enjoy good things. And uh, I think it comes across that way. 
Um, I think this guy here needs to he needs to chill out a bit. This guy here needs to let go. But the only way to do that is if you slow down a bit. And if I go for the left on this, and let's see where we're going. Um, yes, your cards here are very much enjoying a relationship and someone who's going to bring more abundance to you. Slow it down, though. Slow it down. It's very much about the Saturn energy coming up, which is sometimes we feel very serious about things, very down to earth. And uh, But it, in fact, it needs the laughter, which is also the other side of Saturn. It can be very funny. And uh, I think if you make the laughter, create the laughter, you'll be uh, you'll be fine. Uh, Laura Watts comes in. She says, Hello, Laura. Let's give you a little, let's give you a... Wow. Laura Watts is here. Well, fantastic, Laura. Anyway, um, uh, purple general reading, please. Purple general reading. If I go for the color purple, actually I see orange and yellow. Orange and yellow here. And uh, these are two colors here, which is quite interesting where this week is concerned. A, you may be starting a job where you, uh, you're doing a job where it's... Uh, yeah, we all make money, but this is a job where money will move around very, very quickly. And I think you're going to get into a job which is going to be very bouncy, very, um, you'll love the energy of it. And this is why I get this yellow orange. The purple here probably is about longevity to do with this job or staying the power with this, staying, staying in the focus with this here. And uh, so it looks like it's going to be a crazy time. But in all honesty for you, it's like, well, I love it. I love it. It's like life is crazy, but so what? It's it's the it's your style in some respects here, and so I think you've got a very good time coming in front of you. Just remember, sometimes with the purple, also says here, learn as you go. Don't just make things up. Make things up here. Just uh, enjoy it that way a little bit here, and also here, see um, a connection to do with the football club, and a connection to do with really fun times. Um, but I've been told here, being told very clearly to you here, uh, enjoy the friendships, enjoy the friendships. I wouldn't get too uh, personally involved, at least not just yet. Let's have a, let's have a little look here, right. And uh, yeah, you'll find this week to be a very interesting time. There may be a change of lifestyle around you, um, but it's going to get better. Don't put yourself down. Don't think too seriously about yourself, but go for the fun. Uh, we all have to learn. You have to learn. And this is one of these learning times around us. But enjoy it, though. It seems to be a nice energy. Yeah, good old luck to you. Good old luck to you. Let's give you a... Woohoo! Yeah, a woohoo, because I think you need a bit of that, because it, it looks like it's going to be fun. Uh, right. Uh, to the Ellie says, hi, everyone. Hi, Ellie. Hope you're well. Uh, right. Okay. De -de 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 -de. Uh, I'll send you some via WhatsApp. For... Oh, thank you very much, Laura. Right, um, got a thank you, Bill. Right, got that. Uh, Roberta comes in here. She says here, lovely to see you, Roberta. Hope you're well. Mini business reading, please, for this week. Okay, and you've gone for color white. Uh, white is good on this. Clear the decks, clear your energies, have a very clear focus time, and you'll have a very good week. Keep your agenda very loose -ish, so you could do whatever you need to do to fit in the middle. That way, it will go very, very easy for you, and you'll enjoy it. You'll be absolutely fine, and this looks good. Um, let's have a little look here. I can see a couple of people there on the end here. I'm going to see if I can get around to you guys. And uh, yes, see how I'm going. Right, okay. Um, right, so let's have a little look here, see what the cards want to say. Um, left bit of right. Let's go for left on this. Left on this here. Um, business reading. Clear the decks, keep things, the, the clearer you are, the better. <clears throat> then you have a very tranquil week. If you don't, you keep things too tight, then you're gonna have, damn, I can't fit this in. I can't fit that in. I've got too much going on here. And it's a money week as well. So by the end of it, it you're doing all right. You're doing all right. And I think you need, um, yeah, I think what is, yes, keep things clear and listen to the drums, listen to the drums. Keep things clear, you'll be doing just, Oh, just all right, all right, all right, all right, stop now. Yes, all right, okay. The old drum roll, it gets a bit carried away. Yeah, have a great week in front of you. And, uh, right, where else do I need to go here? Where do I just, oh yes, Lot says here, she says, Hello Bill, if possible, curious what my guides and or loved ones have to say about my life at the moment. Let's have a little look here. As you see, Lot likes hats. 
and believe it, she's got a collection of more hats than she has shoes. Yes, most, most women have a collection of shoes. Lot has a collection of hats. Yes. Want a hat? Go and see Lot. Right, I think you ought to sell them, Lot. You've got so many. Right, okay, let's go and have a little look here. Uh, right, okay, Yukon 4, colour purple, colour purple. I would like to go colour white, colour white here. Um, what your guides have to say around you is very, very interesting. One of your grandmothers is right behind you. She works with you. You've also got two other spirit guides who are new working with you. One of them connects to a church, whether it's the priest, whether this is the, um, uh, whether this is male or female, uh, sorry, it's, it's male, and worked connected to the church. And one thing I'm picking up here is, this week is about insight. It's insight to what you pick up spiritually, what you're learning and what you're growing. And when you get this, you'll be going, wow, wow, wow. In fact, we got to do a little bit of wow here because... Uh, oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. This is stuff you're going to start picking up lots. You're going to start very intuitively picking up stuff. And this is what you need to do. And I think sometimes you'll be saying to people, you get loads of ESP, extrasensory perception moments. I think those questions where the people ask you things, you'll give them answers. And then, some, then all of a sudden it goes and happens. It looks, it was quite incredible with that. Right, middle, let's go to the middle on this here. Um, don't judge yourself, don't be hard to yourself, don't make difficult decisions which put yourself at compromise. You just need to have a very open mind, a very relaxed time, and everything gets easier. Easier and easier. Brilliant, I hope that works out there. And as we come on down the line here, let's kind of have a little chat to Erica. Erica comes in. Uh, general please about love and work color pink lovely to have the color pink very much related to those areas there and if I look at this and go for the color gold I think it's more connected to where you're going here but gold is I've got to look at this as an aura color that comes to you in front of you it's not what's with you now it's what's coming and uh, I think here by this energy here it's uh, not seeing the wood for the trees at the moment get March out the way and get into the early parts of summer and you're going to feel very much freer, happier, uh, very much in your own vibe. <clears throat> I get big news about properties. Either you're selling something, you're going to buy something here. Selling, buying. Very good news about properties and they're also saying to me as well here, um, don't get too clouded in your thinking. Don't overdo things, over overcompensate. Uh, um, trying to do too much, because uh, it, that won't work for you. But uh, let's have a little look here. Let's have a look at the cards and see what they're saying. All right, into three piles, left, middle, and right. Let's go for the right and see where we're going. Okay, um, yes, insight, wonderment, good news, think lighter. Think more optimistic and both work, <coughs> excuse me, both work and love will be more of on a balance for you, but it's coming ahead. It's not just now. I know sometimes here we think here, oh God, are things going to sort themselves out? Are they going to get better? They do. They do, I do, I do. Good. Um, guys, we're out of time. I've gone about four minutes over, but I wish you a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, it's been a pleasure to have you all along I, and uh, I wish you a wonderful time. Thank you very, very much. Um, as you probably know here, there's uh, information out there on the website and on Facebook, which is uh, very much about Heal and Tune Your Soul, a workshop um, which is coming up in um, May and June. If you're interested in doing this, get in touch as soon as possible because things are going to go and move quite quickly on this. And uh, it's in a beautiful location in Spain. So if you're interested, Heal a Tune Your Soul. With a one, I'll give you more insight through that through next week. And, um, uh, and it's also on the website anyway. It's on the website and it's on Facebook. So you can read up about that. And uh, I hope you, if you want to come along, it's for a whole week, whole week in Spain. You've got a choice of two weeks there to heal a tune your soul with uh, spirituality, um, mediumship, hypnosis, uh, singing with a very highly qualified uh, a teacher in the singing and a performer and also shamanism all you need to do all you want to know about shamanism it will be part of it but uh, I wish you guys I wish you guys a wonderful wonderful week take care see you soon 
loads of hearts, loads of burgers, and all good things there. And for people who came in, yes, I can see here. Um, yes, Carla, you wanted to read it there. Get in earlier. Get in earlier. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Speak to you soon. And have a great, great week. Thank you.